Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, uh, this is more of a car content uh, channel. I do cars of all types. Uh, right now, I'm mostly BMW. Uh, I do have a Civic Type R. Um, but this video is going to cover more the Tesla. Now, if you are brand new to Tesla, say for example, you're renting one on Turo, you're driving a Tesla for the first time, this video will be for you. So let's get started. <laughs> thing is you have a Tesla and then for example in this video we're using the Model 3. Now they may vary in difference but let's say if you're bringing one for the first time um, you go up to the car you're wondering how you get into it um, and the host he may remotely unlock it for you if you're renting on Turbo but once you're getting a card this is what you have to use this to get access into the car and start the car. All right so first thing is to unlock the car you want to just tap it here on the B pillar right below the uh, camera then to open the door if it's a model s or model x i think the door handles pop out on the threes and the y's you just press here on this white section and one hand one swift hand you press grab and you get into the car okay so once you're in here's what you do you go into the car you get inside you sit in it and you're not going to really um, see anything in here other than the screen the car kind of turns itself on it wakes itself up you might hear the AC on or the heats on but you're wondering okay how do I where do I go from here so what you want to do is shut your door you want to tap your card down here right here in this area okay so you pick it from the brake tap it and the car starts up Okay, put on the brake, tap your card, the car started. When you hear that chime and everything, the seat belt, you'll see the bulb check, all the safety checks come on. That means the car's ready to go. Right now you can see the gear selector. We now can go into the gear. But before you do that, let's get our mirrors, everything adjusted appropriately. All right, so first thing you wanna do is go over here to the car icon here in the bottom left corner. Press car. Okay, you wanna go over here to mirrors hit mirrors now you have the option to choose your left or right mirror so if you do a left mirror hit left and then what you do you use the wheel selector here the thumb and you can move your mirror around up or down and up or down left or right so it's explanatory and if you do the right mirror it did the same way okay except on that if your steering wheel is not in the right height say for example you want to adjust your steering wheel you want to move it up or down come over here to steering then you use the same wheel up or down, all right? To adjust your seat over here, and it's your regular seat control, push forward, tilt this backrest forward. If you need to seat up, you pull this whole thing forward up and it raises the seat upward, okay? So you got your mirrors adjusted, you got this adjusted, and you are said, okay, I'm ready to start driving, okay? Um, also too, and when I should put this out, if you need to open the glove box, for example, if you need the glove box, you just hit that button right there, opens the glove box, okay? Now to start your drive, you, if you don't know where you're going, say for example, you're traveling, you hit uh, navigate, and then from there, you can just put in to exactly where you want to go, type in your destination, and then it will tell you where you are, or what you're what you're doing. So if I'm just going to say if I like say I'm going to Sport Clips in Kernersville, okay? It's gonna load up uh, the Sport Clips. It's gonna tell me what which roads to turn on, and then it'll tell me how much battery I have left when I arrive. So there's the range anxiety should hopefully you know alleviate that because you see how much range you have left. I got 56%. I'm gonna use 6% of battery. And let's say if I want to come back, but I don't want to charge, I'll have 44% estimated on a round trip. Okay. Now if you need to charge in a way, this system will automatically direct you to the nearest supercharger on your stop and tell you how long you should charge, like, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to, to top off um, your charge, okay? So you're ready to get going. You come down here. It's just push all the way up to reverse. You can go in the car and now all the cameras come on. You left the brake and press the gas and you'll start going. If you need to go drive, press all the way down, go to drive. Okay, 
Now most of these cars are set up so the brakes um, automatically hold. So right now I let off the brake, the car is holding itself. You can see the brake lights are on on the car. It's holding itself. It won't go until I touch the gas pedal, but I let off, it stops. Now there's different ways you can configure that. I prefer, I like this method because you can drive one pedal. If you don't like that, if you say I want to feel like a traditional car, you go over here to your, you press put in park first. This is park. Um, and then you go over here to your uh, stopping mode and it'll be creep. So creep would be more like your traditional automatic car where you let the brake and the car rolls forward and like that, okay? To turn on your uh, lights, check over to your, again to controls. This is your headlights control. This is where it is right now, it's set on automatic, so when it gets dark, it's automatic to turn on, okay? Um, wipers, again, this is off, this is low, this is all rain sensing wipers, so it's going to be your high, how strong you want your, like you see, intermittent or fast or super fast, or it's even on automatic. If you want to put some music on, go over here to the music and you can stream, you can choose where you want to stream from to your Tesla's native streaming service, or you can hit this arrow and then pick from here. If you need to dial on telephone, you can come over here, hit the phone, you can pair your phone just like any other thing. Um, to adjust your air vents, all you do is just uh, come in here and what I would do, you just grab the airflow and you move the vent like that, all right? You can slide it side to side and you can adjust it that way. Then you have other controls for your heated steering wheel, rear defroster, front defroster, and then you can do the rear climate. Um, you can turn on the rear heated seats in addition to that as well. To get out of the car, you're gonna press this button here. You press it, it releases, and then you can get out of the car. All right, that is electronic release. If you need a backup system, you will pull this little section up right here, click and pull. Um, you don't want to do this all the time because it doesn't release the window. You can actually damage the automatic uh, window system. So this is your release here. It drops the window so you can open the door. To open the trunk, just press that to open. If you need to charge, go to, I like the records, go ahead and go to charging. And then you can say, hey, open the charge port. And then we hit that button, it'll automatically open the charge port. Then the close charge port, you just say close charge port. If the charger is stuck, for example, say like that, but you're trying to unhook it and it's not releasing, this is where you'll go for unlocking the charge port. Just press that and it will, the car will automatically release for you so you're able to pull that uh, charge port out of the socket there. When you're charging, it's always good to charge to about, you know, 50, 60, no more than 80% of charge um, because for one, it takes a long time. The second part is, it's not good for the battery. If you're just doing a, a really long load trip, it's good to start off that way. But then throughout your journey, make sure you just do small tops off, you know, here every now and then. Uh, for example, if we need to do, you know, quickly get up to a percentage. You can drop your phone right there. These two are wireless charging pads. Okay, you're done with the Tesla. Now what you do, you want to lock it to use that same card. Tap up here, you hear one uh, soft tone from the horn and the car is locked and secured. So once you're underway and you want to set your cruise control, you click down on the stock once for cruise control. You'll see here where it says your speed. To adjust your speed, use the right thumb wheel to increase your speed or decrease your speed. Roll up or down depending on what you want to do. If you have autopilot or you want to use lane keep assist, go ahead and click the cruise control down one more time. And then you can release the wheel. Momentarily, you can see just keep light pressure on it. Nothing really, you know, not really holding it, but it's a lane keep assist. The blue line show you that you're in lane keep assist. And from there, you can uh, adjust your speed appropriately. 
if you have the adaptive uh, or full self-driving package by turning on your right turn signal or left turn signal would initiate a lane change the car will look for a lane change or make sure it's clear and then initiate the lane change and then deactivate the turn signal automatically if you are using a navigation through autopilot the car will automatically navigate into the appropriate off-ramp and go from there Obviously, when you're using these systems, you still need to be fully aware. Like I said, my hand is still here resting on it. I'm not fully, you know, doing anything in the back seat or not fully paying attention. It's a good system to have as a backup plan. I would never be fully rely on it. To deactivate the system, if I want to deactivate the cruise control, just go up on the stock. Now I'm back on manual driving. Also mentioned when you're using the cruise control either in just basic cruise control or using the autopilot uh, function uh, both instances it will brake for you it will see other cars so it will apply the brakes if the car in front of you brakes and then it will speed up not to exceed your preset speed once the traffic is clear ahead all right so one pedal driving I'm coming up right 50 miles an hour I'm not touching the brakes at all as I get close to my stop, I ease off the accelerator, easing off, letting the regenerate. Turn left onto Macy Grove Road. And as I get down to a stop, I come all the way off. There we go. And the car comes to complete stop, not touching the brakes. Check traffic. All right, so those of you who have range anxiety, you can see here, um, I was actually on the way to the airport and it said I had no charge to get there. I said I'll probably be at like 8%. Then as I started driving, I was driving a little faster. Um, it actually said, you know what, you need to stop. And it automatically added a waypoint along my route. So I do take one exit, uh, stopped here at the local uh, sheets right off the exit, um, plugged into the charger, went inside. And you know, got a couple snacks, and uh, you know, you use the restroom, came back out, and then it says that there's enough charge to continue the trip. So those of you probably like, oh, how do you plan it? This is easy. I mean, it, you, as long as you put the navigation to the Tesla, the Tesla will do the math for you, figure out if you have enough charge and how much, how long to sit here. It told me to sit here for 10 minutes, um, and then that was plenty. When I came back out of the restroom and got my snacks, it was plenty of time. It was said you had plenty of time. So right now I'm just recording this video. But since I finished the video, I'm gonna unplug and continue my route. And sadly, I just read that we're gonna lose the boombox feature. So this means if I want the driving sound on. So this sound comes out from outside the car. 